No, not my ice cream! No! Hey everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about The Walking Dead on the Vita. The Walking Dead on the Vita is a good port, but some questionable decisions in controls bother me. So in the game there are two control schemes, device controls, which mean that you play the game like you would on a console, and touchscreen controls. I selected touchscreen controls. Big mistake. Because one, it's horrible to play like this, and two, you can't change the controls back in the options menu. Why? Why can't I change the control scheme in the options? Which means that in scenes like this, you don't move the camera with the right joystick, like it will be natural, but instead you move it with the touchscreen. And the controls are clunky. Also during play, there are moments where the game freezes for some seconds to transition to the next scene. But in rest, the port is really good. You get the first season of The Walking Dead, Telltale, without compromises, the game looks good and plays good aside of the freezes, and it's the same game. So aside of the controls and the occasional frame rate chugs, I'm very happy with the port. If you've never played the game, it's about a zombie outbreak, and the game is dialogue oriented, meaning that the game is based on dialogue options and decision making rather than going into the action. But even so, there are action-packed and intense moments too. But the majority of the game is focused on the dialogue. And you should play it for its narrative. You should definitely play it for its narrative. I'm not into zombie games, but this game was amazing. So you can try it even if you don't like post-apocalyptic games. And if you already played the game, on the Vita you have the entire first season, which is my personal favorite, so if you want to replay it, just know that you get the entire first season. And you also get the second season complete. I was wrong when saying in the first version of the video that you get only the first episode of season 2. Thank you Andreas for commenting that I was wrong. I couldn't check on the PlayStation Store anymore, but I found on eBay that they sell the entire second season on cartridge. So yeah, on the Vita we have the entire first season and the entire second season. They didn't make the third one because Telltale said that it was too demanding for the Vita. Also in season 2 they ditched the touchscreen and touchpad controls and adopted console controls, finally. Well actually to be more precise, you don't get to choose anymore. The controls are predefined to be more button oriented but you can still use the touchscreen if you want. You don't get to choose, you can use both from the start. And action scenes and other stuff is usually linked to the buttons, not to the touchscreen. 